everybody, welcome back to Tass's Weight Closet at Wig Studio One. Today we're gonna chat about what I'm wearing, which is a new style by Gabor Essentials. This is called Kinetic Beauty. And remember, you can find the style as well as the other Gabor styles and much more at Wig Studio One. If you go below the video, expand the description box, I'll attach a direct product link there. If you click on the link, it'll take you out to the site where you can see all of the colors and pricing on all the styles. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. I really love providing wig reviews because the manufacturer's photo and description really only says a sliver about the style. The reason why this collection is on the more affordable side is because it doesn't feature any lace or monofilament. It's just an open cap or traditional cap machine made design. But I can tell you it's very high quality and it's very comfortable. We're gonna get into the cap here in just a moment. But let's look at the gist of this style. A lot of modern texture to it. We're looking at about a five to five and a half inch fringe piece. Now you'll notice that that fringe just kind of hangs right over the eyes, but because of the design of this cap, I can sweep it off to either direction. I could also trim in a shorter fringe if I wanted. I think that would look spectacular. We're looking at about an eight inch piece right off of the crown in the back. And that sort of bevels down into a 1.75 inch nape. And then those six inch sides just kind of sweep over the ear into this graduated angular look. It weighs right around three ounces. It feels super lightweight on the head. It does feature some permatease, just enough to cover wefting. So you'll notice that it's rather flat and low profile on the top. That's the way this is designed. I really would have a tough time using the heat from my hands to create any kind of lift. It has more of a perpetual forward movement and it's very flat. Now this is heat friendly fiber, the Excel fiber by the Gabor's Essential line. And so you can take some heat to it if you wanted to curl it or style it in a different way. I just got this right out of the box with a simple shake. Um, I didn't even really part it. The only thing I would do, I would love to create just a little bit of lift here at the top to help balance this for me because of my face shape. So if I just kind of squeeze, pinch in a little bit of volume there and perhaps use some sort of setting spray or something, I think I would get a better look for me. But this is definitely something that you should check out if you like a low density modern shaggy bob. It is just as wispy as can be. It's just feather light. Okay, so now let's take a look at the inside of this cap. So you notice there at the front that beautiful velvet piece. It is so soft and so comfortable and I just don't even sense that it's on the head. So if you are experiencing any friction, you're not gonna get an itchy sensation there. You'll also notice a little brush of fiber against that uh, front piece. That does give it a more natural hairline, although all of these hairlines are very well obscured by the fiber. And then you've got some open wefts on the top, sides and back. And you'll notice in the back that you do have a standard nape with the Velcro style adjuster. This is very important, guys. I had to make a very exaggerated adjustment for this to stay on my head. It is really large on me. I have a 21 and a quarter inch circumference. It's doubtful that I will be able to wear this with any kind of security and comfort. So I crisscross the adjusters, but because that's just a standard nape, I wasn't able to, to, to accomplish that extremely well. This would be the ideal wig if you have more of an average large or large circumference, but it also would be an ideal wig if you have lots of biological hair underneath the cap. So you're putting that up. There's plenty of space. Let's talk about this color, light blonde. I think I addressed it as the soft shades light blonde. It's just the regular light blonde. This is not rooted. However, they have introduced a soft shades version of this color, which does give you a little bit of an illusion of roots. So check that out on the website. But this light blonde really reminds me of the Sandy Blonde by Gabor. Um, I think it's just pretty much the same color. It's a light, creamy, warm, blend. So on this particular application, I noticed that it's more of a medium gold blonde with some pale gold blonde highlight. I 
mention, this is right out of the box, which is a couple of shakes and application. I spent more time trying to get a secure adjustment than fiddling with it at all. This is what it should look like for you right out of the box. I haven't used any product or any styling. It is perfectly tuckable. I think you're really gonna love that. In fact, that would be my preferred way to wear it. If I tuck it around that left ear, it accentuates the beveling and the interest in this angular bob. And you can tuck it on both sides because it's a very low density. I love the whisper light density on this one. And it is glasses friendly for sure. Um, the permatease is just enough to cover wef wefting. It's not putting any pressure on the ears or ear tabs. So uh, perfect for your everyday glasses wear as well. So let's just move this hair around. This is where you really get to know this style. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you soon right back here on Taz's Wig Closet.